Hello, welcome to the Atari Punk console channel once again. Today we are building the K8055RS USB Experiment Interface Board from HiQ Velamin Kit. This is the first time we've built this one, so let's get started. Alright, so let's take an inventory of the parts. We have some LEDs, some terminals, capacitors, resistors, transistors, and integrated circuits and sockets. We have the PC board where everything gets soldered into to build the circuit. Instructions and warranty card. Alright, so with this kit here you can interface your computer with the world using five digital in and eight outputs and two analog in and outputs sort of like the Arduino but it's not an Arduino it's it's its own uh, Velamin kit here okay now that I've got everything unpacked the first couple of steps are installing the jumpers the diodes and then the resistors here now um, typically with these Velamin kits they put them in the order that of which you'll be soldering them in according to the instructions but you should always compare the uh, the part with the um, instruction with the place where it goes on the board uh, so that you make sure you get it right and, and don't just follow these blindly because there's a chance that some of these could be put in there in the wrong order um, so always check the values before installing them so first thing first is the two jumpers alright we got the first jumper in now and so all the jumpers are, are essentially just a piece of wire that's the same thick thickness as one of the leads from one of these resistors here and you just bend that into the uh, bend it to the length of the jumper place where it goes there and solder it right on in alright next up is the, re is the diodes and then resistors and so when, when installing diodes remember that they're polarized and usually on the board it'll show you a little line for the negative there which usually ma mar matches up with the diode itself that shows you there's a little mark on the diode for negative a little black line on it right there is the negative so always check the orientation for your diodes and the values these these two happen to be the exact same they're uh, they're both 1N4148 diodes so uh, we didn't have to determine the values of these two but uh, always if you have two different types of diodes on your kit check the values alright now that that uh, diode the diodes are installed we'll be moving on to the resistors we have 43 resistors to install resistors are not polarized so they don't it doesn't matter what orientation that they're installed but you have to make sure you get the values right and you can figure the values out by reading those little colored lines on there I won't go into much detail about how to determine the value by those lines and you can look that up on your own okay we're done with all the resistors here and uh, resistor 8 and 9 have been left out because uh, if you need to amplify the uh, analog inputs the two analog inputs you would use uh, two different value resistors right there to change the gain factor and uh, it gives you the instructions on what to do in the instruction book there on exactly how you would uh, amplify the input signal if it was too low next step is installing the ceramic capacitors usually the ceramic capacitors are not polarized so they can be installed in either direction step five installing the integrated circuit sockets remember to watch the notch on these they'll tell you where pin one is and on the board it shows how the notch goes so obviously we'll put this one in like this because the notch is up here step six is installing these little push buttons here um, they pretty much just snap right into place real easily so that you, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to solder in once you've uh, put the leads into the position where they go and there's uh, five of those and for step seven we're installing these potentiometers and once again they your uh, the shape is pretty much easy for you to get your uh, piece right in there and just flip that over and solder it right on in 
two of them right there. Step eight, installing the LEDs. LEDs are polarized, so make sure that you put the short side where the line is. The line shows you which side is the negative side, and the negative being the cathode would go into that short side on that hole right there. Step nine, installing the transistors. Same thing with transistors, you should always uh, check the bill of materials and make sure that you got the right part. On this particular kit, we got two of the exact same transistors here, so we don't have to check, but uh, we, we did make sure, I did check to make sure these were both uh, BC337 transistors. Step 10, installing the USB connector right there on the board so you can connect the USB cable to the computer. And for step 11, we'll be installing the 4.7 microfarad capacitor. And it goes right there. And always remember to watch the polarity. It's marked with a negative to show you which one's negative. So you'll, you'll know the negative is on the opposite side of the positive there. Step 12, installing the quartz crystal. This is a 6 megahertz crystal. It's not polarized, so you can install it either direction. And it goes right there where it says X1. And step 13 is installing these headers. They come in uh, segments of 6, and you have to break them apart into segments of 2 to install them into SK2, SK3, and SK5, and SK6 here. And then the rest of the SKs are, will be the screw down terminals there. And step 14 is uh, installing these screw down terminals or screw connectors here. And they come in segments of three, so you have to, for some of these, you have to uh, put them together to make them fit in their spaces there. One, there's, there's one section of three and one of six here. And then over here are the rest of them all have to be all connected together like this. And step 15, the last step, is inserting these integrated circuits into their uh, respective uh, sockets here on the board. And we got some interesting uh, integrated circuits here. The big one up here is uh, the Velleman uh, VK8055, uh, or uh, a programmed PIC 16 cf 745 ip and they've uh, rebranded it with their own uh, Velleman label there. We got a couple of other ones I don't know exactly what they're for. These uh, TLV274IN and the ULN2803 and another ULN2803. Not sure what those are for, but probably some kind of like uh, serial to TTL converters or counters or something like that I'll have to look up some good data sheets on those and find out what they are alright so next up is playing with this thing we'll see what it does alright so now to get started with experimenting with your Velleman kit go to this address and there's a couple of files you need to download from here uh, first thing to download is this. This is the driver that would be under this link right here. Lab view, third party, lab view driver for the K8055 board. And then the other thing you want to download to get started right away is the installable demo package. The rest of these things are for more experiment they're uh, more advanced experimentation you can write your own experiment programs um, so let's get started with that driver installation so we'll run the demo installer and once that's done you can start experimenting so here's your demo interface program you click connect to get started and we are now connected to the Velleman kit and so we have various different things we can try here 
some different uh, clicking those output things will turn on these lights here so you can try different sort of experimentations with the program that it comes with and if you're a programmer you can use the provided DLLs from the website and write your own programs to experiment with it with so thanks for tuning in to the Atari Punk console channel once again that was building and testing the Velamin K8055 USB Experiment Interface Board.